But adding power to his game isn't really a huge concern for Madrigal because he remains confident in his abilities to get on base. So when he exits the batting cages and he steps out onto the field, his offensive approach remains exactly the same as it was when he played college ball at Oregon State. Now in his third year playing at ASU, Walker has helped bring the Sun Devils into the national spotlight. But he and his Sun Devil teammates aren't the only ones to walk through these narrow hallways. One thing has been evident about Keuchel's time with the White Sox so far, and it's that Chicago just doesn't really need him to be their ace. To put it simply, the White Sox just need Keuchel to be a reliable number two arm in the rotation behind all-star Lucas Giolito. He was sitting 83 to 85 miles per hour on his fastball at the time, but in two years after joining the organization, Patino had added 10 to 12 miles per hour to his fastball velocity. He also added 35 pounds and attributes much of his development to his time spent in the weight room and working out his legs. The Coyotes concluded a four-game homestand Thursday night in Glendale with a 5-3 loss to the Carolina Hurricanes. The Coyotes led 2-0 early in the second period, but an Andre Sveshnikov hat trick propelled a Hurricanes comeback. After the game, Coyotes head coach Rick Tockett said that the loss was a result in a lapse in focus and lack of physicality. You know, not to throw any under the bus, but, you know, focus, I mean, you got to be focused. It's, a, it's the do, you know, this is crunch time. What's up, Joe Joe? Pitcher Josiah Gray came to the Dodgers from the Reds in a trade prior to the 2019 season. In his first year with the Dodgers, he was named the organization's minor league pitcher of the year. But Gray's path to the mound was not a conventional one. So I would play eight innings at short, eight, seven or eight innings at short, uh, and I would go warm up on the side of the field and throw a couple bullets, get my arm ready, as ready as I could, and go out there and pitch and close out the night. Colleges recruited Gray as a two-way player out of high school. He received just one offer from Division II Lemoyne College in New York, where he emerged as an everyday shortstop and leadoff hitter, who occasionally made an appearance on the mound. Sophomore year, jumping into a starting shortstop role, being closer, you know, my expectations were uh, heightened immensely. I have to prepare myself to be ready for any situation and transitioning and helping the team win as many ball games and going from there. But all that changed when his head coach, former big leaguer Scott Cassidy, had an important conversation with him. He sat down with me and said, hey, you've got to turn your mentality completely around. You know, we're not going to have you hit anymore, but we want you to be our ace for the junior year and we want you to get drafted and, you know, go out there and represent Lemoyne. He pitched in the Cape Cod Baseball League in the summer, then returned to Lemoyne, where he posted a stunning 1-2-5 ERA and an 11-0 record as a junior. He was drafted in the second round by the Reds in 2018, but eventually landed with the Dodgers, where manager Dave Roberts thinks he has the whole package. First impression, uh, really good makeup, really good body, um, good arm, fastball characteristics are real. The changeup is a plus pitch, has a desire to get to get better. Continued to develop on, on spin, but he's, uh, there's a lot to like. Although seeing former position players end up elite pro pitchers is an extreme rarity, Gray's not the first former shortstop to end up on the mound. Hall of Famer Trevor Hoffman played four seasons of shortstop at the University of Arizona prior to pitching in Major League Baseball for 18 seasons. But Gray compares himself to somebody a little bit younger, somebody who he looks up to. I would say, as cliche as it is, Marcus Stroman, I think, just because our stories are so similar, we can show that, you know, young African-American pitchers can succeed in this league and can succeed, you know, for a long time. So I think he's a guy I always look up to just because of how he gets his job done and how outspoken he is about everything, but also how much work he puts in at the end of the day to, you know, make himself and make his team better. Robert said a future call-up for Gray solely depends on his performance, but he wouldn't bet against it. In Glendale, Josh Schaefer, Cronkite News. San Diego Padres number two prospect Luis Patino was signed as an international free agent in 2016 after he impressed club scouts at a prospect showcase in the Dominican Republic. Since joining the organization, Patino has thrived. I improve a lot, you know. Uh, every single time when I have the opportunity for, you know, throw a program, bullpen or something more for get better, or what I do best in the Dutcher side because, you know, I need, I need to improve more and more because I want to go to the big league. I need to have a good staff, good command, and good body, be healthy. The Colombian right-hander was sitting between 83 and 85 miles per hour on his fastball in 2016. And in his two years after signing, 
he added 12 miles per hour to his velocity, according to MLB.com. He also put on 35 pounds in the weight room. For pitcher, you need to have a, a good weight because you can have a 180 weight and throw 200 innings, you know? You need to have a good weight in your body for can throw a lot of um, never have an injury or something. And now heading into another season of what is supposed to be a big year of growth and development for the now 20 year old, Patino says that his biggest goal at spring training isn't simply just to impress. Instead, he wants to stay fit and he wants to continue learning about the game. I think, I think my first goal is stay healthy all year, can pitch all year, have injury or something, and get to a big league. You know, it's more like I enjoy the baseball and when I have when the opportunities come, you know, be prepared. And Patino has been prepared, and his first year manager has taken notice. He's thrown uh, quite a few sides, a lot of live BPs, uh, his conditioning in the weight room, um, what he's doing in the running program. Uh, and look, this, this wasn't uh, thrown on him two weeks ago. Uh, basically, the day that he got a call to the invite to camp, this, is, this was it. So uh, I don't think there's been any surprise. I think he's been well prepared and he's handled it well. Now in his first spring training with the big league club, the young righty is also taking time to learn from the more experienced players in the organization so that when his number is called, he'll be ready. In Peoria, Josh Schaefer, Cronkite News.